Peace and blessings be upon all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. It is your brother, Jehoshaphat Israel. What is good, family? We are in the sanctuary. What is good, family? What is good? I hope everybody had a blessed Sabbath, as blessed Sabbath in Yah's name. I hope you are, are fully rested. I hope that he is on your mind. I hope that he is in your heart. Peace and blessings be upon all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. Peace and blessings be upon you in Yeshua's precious name, for he is our Lord, Master, and Savior. All glory given to Yah, for he is the only one who is worthy. For he is all power, all strength, all knowledge, all wisdom, all guidance, all of creation. He is it, family. There is none other like Yah, for there is no other power as great as Yah, the Lord of hosts. Blessed be Yah's name and Yeshua HaMashiach's name, for he is worthy. My brothers and sisters, put your hands up. I bless all my brothers and sisters out there in the world in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, for he is our master. Hallelujah. Amen. I am I am now, as I'm as I'm looking at my life family, I'm looking at being being counted worthy to suffer now, family. Remember, we talked about that a little bit last week. Let me go ahead and put this down. Now, family, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little jumbled around because it's late. It's right after. Uh, it's about like 9:40. You know, I got my, uh, my 30 minutes and my prayer hour. You know how we do it, family. We keep it holy the whole, the whole hour that nine o'clock is. So you know, your father is on my mind. It's just the point to where. Like your brother told you, any time is a good time to pray, but when you can be in the symbol at some junction and pray with others, like I really don't I really don't under I don't I don't think people really understand what church is or traditional church or what church was back in those days, comparisons to, to what you see now and what's been done with it. But your brother is, I'm blessed, family, because I'm here now with you. We in the sanctuary. We're going to go ahead and get into all these many distant, all these many different lessons. Your brother, I'm about to preach to you. I'm about to share my spirit with you because you know your brother, Jehoshaphat. Yeah, I love you. I love my people. But you know I love my, my father first. And you can't really say you love me if you don't love him first. So... People when they when they tell me they love they love me, I would rather them tell me that they love God because if they truly love God, then they love me. So when I see that out of people, then I know that they really love me. If not, it'd just be words. But then again, you know, time speaks for us all because it goes on people' actions and what they do. They can show themselves to be a worthy person towards me, and I I treat them the same, family. But if I'm if I'm with you for some period of time and you show me that you are not a faithful person, I don't even mess with unfaithful people, family. You see how people get married all the time. They be getting married, divorced, married, divorced, married, divorced. Why is that? Because they got married to an unfaithful person. You can't have a faithful person and an unmarried person, an unfaithful person together. One of them is going to break the other one's heart, family. And if you had two faithful unpeople together, they stay together for a long time, family. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Two unfaithful people, they stay together for a long time. Now, family, with lessons today or tonight, because it's, like I said, it's right after 9 o'clock prayer hour. It's like 9.42. 940. I was praying to your father. I was like, I don't want to be at no, I don't want to be at the wash house at praying on praying at the wash house. I want to make sure I get home. I made sure my window was open and you know your father, he be working. He wants you to ask him about every single thing. Family, you got to let him in. That's why your brother, I told you now, if your brother uh, sit there and take God's time just to tell him, Well, you know, father, I'm up over here at the wash house and I sure want to get these clothes washed so I can make it back home so I can get to my prayer hour. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless all my brothers and sisters who made it out there in the prayer hour. But your father, he wants to be involved in everything and he wants to know everything in your life. He wants you to let him in. So your father, good. He got me back home on time and everything, family. Because I got my 30 minutes up with my father. And like your brother said, we magnify and glorify and edify his name at this nine o'clock, family. We, we really is, family. Magnifying, edifying, and glorifying his name, for he is the only one who is worthy. Blessed Yah's name and Yahshua precious name forever and ever and ever, family, for he is worthy. Hallelujah. Now, family, 
Now I know we finished. I wish I would have had picked up an illustration of this, but I I didn't I didn't pick up a a, a illustration for this. So, but I'm just gonna talk about it, family. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna talk about it. Now, no matter where you are. And who you are, Yah has seven spirits that come from him that operate in people and in the world. And if you are a child, let me let me stop right there, family. Now, Yah, he has he has seven spirits, family, that come down and be working, family. Let's just talk about the seven, family. And in these seven spirits, family, you better have these spirits, family. You better have them and they better they better be working in your life. You better have the you better okay now Yah he has these seven spirits, family. They come down and they operate. They operate all up in this world, family. They be doing stuff. Just like I said that they operate in the world and they operate in people, but I'm telling you, you better have all seven of them, or I don't know how you gonna live. You know what I'm saying? How can you live without God's seven spirits? To me that wouldn't even make no sense, family. Or is it that because to me, to me, some people, they operate with God's spirits and they don't even know what they is. Like, like, like the spirit of knowledge. A lot of people would take God's spirit of knowledge and they would give him no acknowledgement of it. Family, they would take his knowledge. God would bless them with knowledge. That's just one spirit, family. And they would use it to benefit themselves, but they would never give God no glory for the spirit that he gave them, family. Yah gave them the spirit of knowledge, family. That's one of his spirits that operate in the world and it operates in people. Okay, so they take Yah, they take Yah's spirit and they don't give him no acknowledge and they just use it up, family. Okay, now let's go to the next one. The spirit of counsel. Some people got the spirit of counsel. You go to these people when you need some counseling. And they always got the right answers to tell you. They always got the right what's going on with you and what's going down. You know what I'm saying? To tell you what's going on with yourself and the situation. They always got some good counsel. Why is that for Jehoshaphat? Because God blessed him with his with they with his spirit, family. The spirit of counsel, family. You can always trust in them, family. They always faithful, family. They always got them good answers, family. They always gonna be there for you. They always know what to say, good family. And it has to be, it has to be that the thing that you're going through, they know so much about. Does it remind you of somebody? So they always saying these good things to you in your time of need when you need it the most. And you can always count on that because that's the spirit. They always had that. They had that even as a little kid. They was lecturing all their little kid friends and their little kid's friends wasn't hearing them. That's why they ended up in detention and was getting hurt, family. They always had the spirit of counsel on them, family. Always, family. It really never left them. But the 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 result, it goes back to people not giving God the glory for the spirits that he gives people. Okay, let's go to the third one. The spirit of wisdom. Now you would you would say like you would say like what is the difference? I thought knowledge would be wisdom. Not technically, family. Knowledge and wisdom is two different things, family. You know what I'm saying? You can have wisdom and be smart. But you can't have no knowledge. You can't have no knowledge and have no wisdom. It don't work that way, family. You know what I'm saying? You could have some wisdom and be smart. But you can't have knowledge with wisdom. You just got knowledge, family. You know what I'm saying? So knowledge and wisdom is two completely different things. You can have knowledge on how something operates. But that's it. You probably couldn't even put it back together. That's about it. You would know how it operates only, family. You wouldn't know how to assemble it or even put it together. You know what I'm saying? Or, or you just know how it works, family. So you cannot sit here and say knowledge and wisdom are the same thing. Some people have knowledge, but they're not street smart, family. They don't know how the world runs, but they they hecka smart. And they get in trouble all the time because they don't have street smart. So knowledge and wisdom are two completely different things, family. Two completely different things, family. I'm trying to I'm trying to see like an older person, like a you got the older person, okay, he got knowledge that'll get him far, but the person with wisdom, they'll always be able to get out of everything, family. 
that person got wisdom, family. That person's smart and they be hitting the wall. They be hitting them bricks, family. Because they don't got no street smart or nothing. But with wisdom, they'll always be able to get out. They'll always have the right answers. They'll always know what to do. Just because they smart don't mean that they always know what they have to do. You know what I'm saying? Knowledge and wisdom are two complete things, family. You can you can have wisdom and be smart. But you cannot have knowledge and be, and have wisdom. It does not work like that. So the people who have wisdom, some of them, they do not give God the acknowledgement that he gave them wisdom, family. They use it up every single day until he says that they're not going to use his wisdom anymore, family. Okay, they all, they all was no, no what, okay, with wisdom, they always know what to say when, when needed at all that given times in that person's life. They always know what to do, how to do it. You know what I'm saying? When to do it. You know what I'm saying? All the right stuff that works, family. Because God gives them. God be telling them that stuff, family. You can't have wisdom without God talking to you, telling you to do stuff, family. Okay, now, the spirit of understanding. You would be like, you would be like, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Um, What do you mean, Jehoshua? You just talked about the spirit of knowledge, but... Like once more again, just because knowledge does not mean that person have understanding. You know what I'm saying? That's a completely different spirit. You know what I'm saying? It's a completely different spirit. The person who has understanding, they might not have wisdom like that, family. They just got understanding of everything that they can understand, everything that's going on, family. How it runs, how it operates. The person with wisdom, they got all of that, family. They got they got knowledge, wisdom, smartness, understanding. They got all of those things, family. But some people have the spirit. They nope, nope. I can't say I can't say some people. Well, the people, some of them only use the spirit of understanding, but you're supposed to have all of these, family. Every last one of them, family. You gotta have them, family. All of them. All of them got to be uh, working in a person. And if you don't have these seven spirits working in your life, then something is wrong, family. Is you not acknowledging God? Is you not doing what the things that you... But then a lot of people, they don't acknowledge God gifts. Okay, let's go back, family. Let's go back. Okay, now... Not only does... Not only does the, the, the spirit of understanding... It's it being people, it being the world, family. These things that we're talking about, they're not just be working in people. They work in people, but they also operate in the world, family. They move in the world and do do things. That's why the, that's why the people in the whole got some type of understanding. You know what I'm saying? They got some type of wisdom. You know what I'm saying? They got a little bit of knowledge as a as a whole, as a people, family. Because God's spirit is operating in the world, family, not just in people. Okay, now, the spirit of understanding. Look at people who are lost. This is why they they don't have Yah's spirit of understanding. Now, look at the people who are lost, family. This is why they are lost. They don't have God's understanding on them. If they had God's understanding on them, they wouldn't be lost. They would feel whole. They would know who they are. They would know what they have to do. They would have some type of purpose. But since they don't have Yah's spirit of understanding, they don't they don't even know who they are, family. They don't know how to please themselves. They they it's so much. They please themselves in the world. They they do all kind of stuff, family. But they don't have the spirit of understanding or they would understand this world, family, and they would understand their place in this world. They would understand what God is asking from them. They don't have it, family. You have it, family. That's why you understand. That's why you have wisdom. That's why you have knowledge. That's why you have good counsel, family. That's why you have the spirit of knowledge on you, family. Do you hear me, brothers? Do you hear me, sisters? You have this, sister. Brother, you got the spirit of wisdom all up on you. You know what I'm saying? The spirit of good counsel. You be telling them not heads what to do. And they act like they don't want to do it. They know it's good counsel. They know it came from a person who, who is knowledgeable of what they talking about. And they still don't want to heed the sign or do it. So you can't say you're not doing your job, brother. You're doing all of that. Sister, sister, you're doing your job, sister. I'm telling you, all the mother sisters ain't got no wisdom like you. They don't got it. And you telling all the mother sisters what to do and you still see them burn and crash because they making bad decisions on what they doing. Why is that? Because they ain't got none of this. They ain't got no knowledge on them. 
They ain't got God's spirit of knowledge. They ain't got his, his spirit of counsel. They don't got his spirit of wisdom. They don't have his spirit of understanding on them, family. It's not working in their life, family. They listening. They listening, but they don't have the spirit of understanding. So how would they be able to understand? That's why I say people don't understand me, family. They just don't, family, because why is that, Jehoshaphat? Because they don't have this, the, the, the spirit of understanding on them to understand what I'm saying to them, family. They too dis they too busy trying to dismiss it, or they just don't understand. They too busy trying to fight against it, trying to dismiss it, or they just don't understand, family. It's sad, family. It's sad, family. It's mighty sad, family. Y'all thought I was playing what I what I told y'all, family, about uh last Sabbath, family. I told y'all, family, I wasn't playing, family. It's like Noah Ark up over here, family. If you don't get aboard the Noah Ark, family, on the Sabbath, you ain't you ain't going for the ride. You ain't family. If you if you made it to the if you made it to the ark, if you made it to get on, then you're gonna be with us. If not, you're gonna be like them demons drowning on the outside, family. Drowning on the outside. You'd be a you'd be amazed. Some of them people, you think some of them people was floating around there on the waters, banging on the raft. Let us in, Noah, let us in, Noah. We sorry. We saw you not crazy. We we we, we listen to you now, Noah. <laughs> Being on screaming for their life, family. Can you imagine, family? Like within 40 seconds, it was like one little rain drop. It was like one little rain drop. They was talking back. Yo, it ain't going to rain. It ain't going to rain. And then all of a second, family, it's a whole 32-gallon uh, water, a uh, 64-gallon uh, drum of water being thrown at you, family. That fast, family. So you know they didn't see it, family. I was thinking the other day, family, what if somebody actually heeded Noah's warning, family? What if they heeded this? They started building a boat. They were like, you know what? We don't, I don't even know what you're talking about, man. I, I believe Noah. He's a good dude. They want to kill him for nothing. He telling them all that good stuff over, over there, and they still want to kill him, and all he said was good stuff. He told them to love each other. He told them to stop stealing. He told them not to punch your mama in the eye. He told them not to shoot your daddy. And they still want to kill poor Noah. I believe him. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it all extravagant like Noah. We just got enough money to be able to have some food. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they didn't. They didn't. God didn't didn't say to him, "Well, we gonna we gonna let all the animals come along with you." They just had grain and rice and fruit and stuff like that just to survive, family. You know what I'm saying? But they heeded. What if they? What if? They, I'm just saying, family. I'm just saying they heeded. They heeded this warning. They was all like, "Man, they up really up over there. They they really building that. They really building it. They. I mean, it's like it's all fortified. They was hating. It was like, man, he's up over there. He built where where it's gonna go." Where, it ain't even no lakes over here. It's not even a lake up over here for hundreds of miles. But it's an impregnable fortress. Hating family. Hating family. You can only imagine the poor hatred on this old this old brother family. Noah was all, oh, he already had to be like 97 years old. He couldn't even build the boat, family. He probably can only do a couple of things like get, walk around and get orders and stuff. But he really couldn't build that boat. He was too old, family. He didn't have no strength in him like that, family. I don't think so, family. I think he was giving orders, family, telling his sons what to do, family. Our great, great, great grandfather, family. He was giving us and, and our uncles, family. He was giving them orders. You know what I'm saying? Do this, do that. Put, put pitch on it. Do this. It, well, father said the beam got to be like this, and it had to be like 80, 80, and it had to be made of some Lebanon, the finest. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. What, what, what have you? You know what I'm saying? So, what if it was another dude, and he actually believed them and survived, family? I was just thinking that in my head, family. Like two weeks ago, family, because you know what I'm saying? What if what if at least one of them, you mean to tell me all the people, let's just say family, let's just say for instance, family. Let's say it's only a million people. I know, family, I know that's a ridiculous number, Jaws. That's a ridiculous number. But let's just say it's a million people that live on the earth, family. And and in that million people, family, did nobody want to listen to Noah? All of them thought he was crazy, family. All of them thought he was crazy, family. Didn't nobody want to take a chance on ya? kind of hard for me to believe that family not even a demon family not even a demon well you know what um i believe that that noah is a prophet and 
This is what a demon, you know what I'm saying? Just a regular the, the unclean spirit. Has, has, I'm unclean, I'm unclean, Noah. Oh, oh he said he's gonna have to build it. Right, I'm gonna have to get on it. I'm gonna have to get on it. I'm gonna build my own. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, family, it had to be somebody else, family. But I'm just saying, family, I'm just saying, family, I'm just saying. According to the Bible, no, family, no, family. It's just a thought, family. I told you I'm constantly thinking about the Bible, family. <laughs> Yes, family, yes, family. All of the righteousness of Noah, I just be thinking about it sometimes, family. I be like, man, he was really righteous. He was really, really, God really picked this man. You know what I'm saying? Out of all them people. You know what I'm saying? That's how sometimes I be feeling with my brothers, family. And they be all like, well, well, what do you mean, Joseph? But that's how I be feeling, family. And I could throw people in general. But I'm supposed to say my brothers for what my father said. This is not a game or a joke. Now, let's go ahead and get back into this. What was we at? Now, the spirit of understanding. Look at people who are who, who are lost. This is why they don't have the spirit of understanding. I'm trying to tell you, family. They don't. They. Okay, now, family, to be honest with you, if they start loving in God, they can start tapping in on these spirits. If they start being truthful to God and doing what he is asking them by purging all that evilness and doing all that evil stuff, then they can take in on some of his on all of his covenants, all of his promises. They already taken in on his curses and stuff. I don't know why they don't want to take in on some no good stuff, family. And they can take good on these spirits. Some they start tapping into his power and stuff. He'll start opening the doors, letting them in. But no, family, they're too wanting to do what it is they do that bring them this pleasure that keeps them away from Yah. Okay, now that was four. Five, the spirit of strength. A lot of my brothers out there, family, you be looking at them and you be like, okay, well, he's strong. You know what I'm saying? But if you only knew the spirit that's on that person, they can make it probably out of anything, family. And they don't even, okay, they look strong, but they don't look strong as them other people, family. Now, I, I'm sorry to break so many people heart here tonight, but they got God's spirit on them, family, and they got his strength on them, family. So they might be stronger than them other people, family. They might be stronger than them other people. From they already strong family, but they got got the spirit of God's strength in them family. They got God's courage in them family. They got God's truth in them and His honor in them, and that gives them the extra edge family. They got God's strength in them family. That's why they're able to make it over all of you. Be like, damn, all that stuff happened, and they still made it out of that family. Why is that for? Because they got God's strength with them. Regular people can't do that. Regular people can't go through all of those stuff. And you know the stuff I'm talking about. It'd be bad stuff happening to them, family. And they still make it and overcome and overcome all of that stuff that happened to them, family. Unscathed, untouched, with not one scratch, family. Not a one, family. But I bet you the people who don't have God's strength, all oh, they be looking the, the worstest, family. They be looking tore up and jacked up, family. Because they ain't got that extra strength to get through that, family. That was number five. This is why I will not quit. This is why people like me never give up. Because the place this... I'm sorry. Splendid on us, and we must use all of these spirits to help us in life. So, this is why people like me, it's hard. I can't say they give up, family. They don't give up, family. You know what I'm saying? They just keep on going, family. They just keep on going and keep on going and keep on going. And you be like, wondering, you be like, well, why did they got all that gas and why they got all that energy and why they got all that strength like that? Because God strengthened them, family. All they got to do is call out to Yah and God and Yah will replenish them of all his strength, family. He just douse it right back on us, family. And this is why they don't give up and they keep on going. And then they be setting things and they actually get the job done, family. They do, family. They they set their quotas. They get they they job done. Whatever they say, they gonna do it, family. They don't be protesting. I, I know the, I messed up the word, but they don't be saying stuff. And then they don't do it, family. They actually do it, family. They actually men and women of their word, and they don't give up, and they don't tuck their tail and run, family. Cause Yah has given them the strength, family, the spirit, family. Okay, let's move to the next one. That was number five. Okay, this is why, okay, now, spirit of strength, this is why I will not quit. This is why people like me never give up, because the place 
this suspended on us and we must use all of these spirits to, to help us in life. Number six, the spirit of the fear of Yah. Now, when I when I say that, that gets me in trouble. Because I don't I don't understand, family. I don't understand, family. Now, this was said in his word, family. Not in my own, and your word is where I'm getting it from. So I can't say that it's something else, family. So it's the spirit of the fear of Yah. Now that gets me in trouble, family. Should Jehoshaphat leave that alone? Why not dive into it? Why not be scared of, y of Yah? Why not? I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? I know you have to have love and fear at the same time, and your love got to be a, a big love. I know it's I know it's people out there that love Yah so much to where they they don't they don't fear him like that. You know what I'm saying? Because they fear him on other stuff. I understand, but you y'all have to understand that a lot of these people have to fear Yah. They don't. You know what I'm saying? So how can they love him? They already love him and they take him for a game. That's why Yah said you have to fear him too. Now look at those people who said they love Yah, but then they still are are. No, I can't disrespect my Yah, the Lord of hosts. Look at people who say they love the Lord of hosts and they still play games with him. They still play games. They don't take him serious. So why they don't take him serious? Because they don't fear him. So this is why Yah wants people to fear him. Because he knows that mankind will not take him serious. So they must fear Yah, family. It's the only way they'll be able to take him serious. That's why... The spirit of the fear of Yah is an actual spirit, family. We only got one more. This keeps me doing right, feet on the right path, because the fear of what he will do to me and the fear. Let me stop right there, fur. Let me stop right there, family. I'm scared of going to hell, family. Hell is a bad place, family. It is, family. Do you know God is down? You Do you know Yah is not down there, family? He's not down there, family. He turns a blind eye. Oh, okay, now. Okay, now, Yeshua, he might be going back down there and doing things. Maybe doing th different things. And maybe, but far as Yah, he ain't messing with it. He ain't going down there. I don't want to be in a place to where Yah is not around me, family. And he don't know where I'm at, family. That's the most scariest thing. Like, right now, I'm on top of this earth, and he know exactly. Even if I hide, I hide in some kind of deep, dark cavern, he'll know where I'm at, family. If I was at the bottom of the sea right now, he'll still know where I'm at, family. But in hell, he ain't even going to be worried about me, family. That is scary right there. That is terrifying right there. So the fear of Yah, family. I'm scared of hell, family. Family, family. I'm scared of hell, family. The worms, they don't die. They they just eat flesh forever, family. Dark, the the the, the darkness in, in hell, it actually does things to you, family. It's a burning forever, family. It's all torturement down there, family. That scares me, family. I already got to die, family. Family, family. Y'all told me that I already got to die. That's bad, family. That is bad, family. That's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. And then if I don't get my stuff together, I got to go to hell too? Are you serious, family? And they sitting over here thinking it's a game. They thinking it's a joke. That alone makes me have the fear of Yah, family. The spirit of the fear of Yah. I'm scared of going to hell, family. Straight up, family. I know that place exists. You don't, you don't have to say, you know what I'm saying, that it doesn't, family. If you close your eyes right now, family, I'm pretty sure you can imagine what it is, family. And you ain't that awful what you think it is, family. But it's like a hundred times worse than that. I'm not taking no chances, family. No people will be up over there. They be all like, oh, you die. You die. God be talking to people. And they be over there saying that he don't even exist. You think I'm going to play with these people, family? Family, God be up over here talking. And they say he don't even exist, family. And hell is waiting for them, family. And you think that I'm going to tell you that it don't, family? And I don't fear it? And I, and, and like, like I'm not, I'm like, I'm sitting up here and I don't have the fear of Yah is you. You must be, you, you're not listening, you're not talking, you're not listening to Jehoshua Yah. You must don't know who I am. You must be out of your damn mind. You must be crazy or something. You must don't know who you're talking to. I'm a real child of Yah, family. So check this out, family. I fear hell, family. I, I fear hell's fire, family. I fear all that stuff, family. And Yah said that I'm normal, family. He said I'm normal for thinking that, family. I'm good, family. He said, I'm good. You, you fear hell, you good. You know what I'm saying? You got a badge going. You, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. You fear, you fear hell. 
That means you're going to be acting right. Go on. You know what I'm saying? These people up over here, they're not even fearing it. They don't even fear God like that. You know what I'm saying? They don't fear none of his authority. God has the authority me to slap me up in hell. And they're not even fearing that. You got to be crazy. I'm not going to be playing with them people like that. It is an actual spirit, family. The spirit of the fear of Yah. Now, the spirit, the spirit of the fear of Yah. This, this is what keeps me doing right. My feet on the right path because the fear of what he will do to me and the fear that I will make him ashamed of me, of my behavior. So now at this point, since I'm grown up in Yah family, I'm more. OK, now the sin that a normal person do, they be like, oh, well, I sin. Well, those sins that you doing, it will make myself ashamed, family of my own self. I can't do that anymore, family. Sorry, family. I can't do it anymore, family. And I know my father would be ashamed of my behavior to see me out there doing those things, family. So I'm more ashamed. I'm, I'm, I'm more. I would be more ashamed, family, to see me out there disappointing my yah that it will bring me. It will break me down, family. I can't be doing him like that, family, in my behavior, family. Straight up, family, or I would be ashamed of myself. Some people can't say that, family. What they sin and they sin evil that they do. They don't even look at it like that. And I tell you, sin will make me ashamed. Well, I would think God would be ashamed of me. And I don't want y'all to look down at me and be ashamed of me, family. That scares me, family. You mean to tell me I'm up over here cutting it up down over here on this earth and, and Yah, he's sitting up, the, up on, the, on his throne, family? You know what I'm saying? He's sitting on his throne, family, and he looking in at me and I'm making him ashamed of, of me, his child? No, you got me messed up. You got me messed up, family. So... Like your brother said, I'm not trying to make y'all ashamed of my behavior down here. I'm scared of that, family. I'm actually scared of that. I fear stuff like that, family. It means something to me, family. Okay, moving to the next one. The spirit, the spirit of Yah. How will I convict your spirit to, to righteousness, to, spit, to minister righteousness to your spirit, right and wrong, good and evil, to teach, to reveal, to bring peace and understanding now, the the last one is the spirit of Yah. Some people will say that it's the Holy Spirit or or His Spirit, but just by you having His Spirit in you, what is the, all these things that the Holy Spirit is gonna do for you, family? You know what they are, family. He gonna tell you when you out of line. He gonna tell you when you cutting up. He gonna tell you when you dead wrong. He gonna tell you what you need to do. He gonna tell you when you need to have some more understanding. He's gonna teach you, family. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna do all those things to you. Let's go back. The spirit of Yah. How how will convict your spirit to do righteousness to minister? He's gonna sit there and minister righteousness to you all the time. Yes, family. Your spirit to do right. To your spirit, right and wrong, good and evil, to teach, to reveal, to bring peace and understanding of the world and the good and the evil in people. He's going to teach you all those things. His spirit to lead us and give us strength and power to overcome the adversities, the difficulties and the misfortunes in life. Strength in the darkness hours and time, and in time of needs. You need all of y'all spirits to be blessed and live good. So you need all these spirits to be blessed and to live good. I don't see how people have partials of his spirit and they just don't give in all to it, family. Why not have all of them, family? Why why only use a couple of them? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to I'm trying to use all of them, family, so I can be really blessed, family. And I think I got all of them, family. I think your brother is doing good. I explain all of his spirits, family, that operate down. Now, you see all these spirits that operate down with us, family. That people that you know, but they actually operate in the world too, family. Or the world wouldn't act the way that it act. That would that would be like saying that the Holy Spirit is not doing its job. For if the Holy Spirit would not do its job, me or you wouldn't know what good or evil is, family. We wouldn't even know what it was, family. Whatever they would be doing, we would be doing, family. Okay, now... Now we finally made it to Yeshua's list, family. So let's put it on the man of the hour. Let's put it. Let's make. Let's put it on the man of the hour. And either or picture to me, it really doesn't matter. Now we just now on this on the on the rest of this sit down because we've been carrying forth for some time now, family, and it's getting later in the night. 
And you know your brother, we all got things we got to do. It's get later in the night too. And it's been a, it's been a good day. I've been blessed, family. I've been I've been work I've been working on it. You got to work on yourself every day, all day, family. Every day, all day, and he know, family. He know, family. He know what your brother is doing, family. He know all my shortcomings, and he helping me. And today, I said, what was the prayer that I said today? That it was I was talking to your master, and I told him that. I want him to teach me what what it what it is what my what my love walk is because in this world his love is seen as a weakness so I want him to teach me how to be like him and 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 just not my own self try to learn these things so I'm going to be relying on what Jesus has to teach me about my love walk family that's what I brought to my master today you know what I'm saying I brought that to him and I brought it to my father you know what I'm saying but I let Yeshua know that about it because I want to be more like Yeshua and all the things that I got to do family especially in this life and then when you having problems or things that you just don't understand it's good to bring them to your father and let your master know about them family you can talk to your master about anything. I hope you know that, family. He wants to hear about it, family. He does, family. He wants to hear about it, family. That's why I was telling him, because I got to pull him in, too, and remind him. You know what I'm saying? And remind him, too. You know, Yahshua, you know I love you. You know what I'm saying? I need you. You know what I'm saying? Every day. You know what I'm saying? You got to talk to Yahshua, too, family. I didn't say pray. I said talk. There is a difference. But... I want I want him to teach me that and he gonna teach me that family as easy as I said it because I put my faith in it some things that we have and we ask God for our faith go instantly in it family why don't our faith be in other things that you be waiting on family and need to work like that on all of it as much faith like look at your brother what I just said now I, I know family now I said this today. And I talked to Yahshua about it. And I told your father, Yah, about it. Now, he's going to be helping me with that tomorrow, family. He's, Yahshua is going to be all over that. Now, my faith was in it easy, family. So he's going to start handling that. Now, we have to have our faith just like that in everything else, family. And everything that we ask our father about, all of that faith. My faith is all in there. I know he got that covered, family. I got I have to have that same faith, family, in anything else that I bring to your father. Hallelujah. Now... I learned this weekend that, and, and I felt guilty, and I was talking to your father about it because, you see, you see how, you see how your brother, I, I bring you forth of how, how you, how you got to really be, family. You got to be honest with your father, and it's, it means nothing to me to actually be honest with you here today on, on, on my heart and how, how I am so you can judge forth, family, the honesty that I pull forth and my love for your father. Now, now, check this out, family, check this out. What was I telling your father today? What was it about? It was something. It was something about another person. Hold on, family. But I, I be very honest on how I how I look at things, how I talk to him, family. I don't hide or keep any secrets. Now, this weekend. Now, in studies this weekend, I learned, or you know, people like me, we remind it, you know what I'm saying? We remind it, ooh, ooh, I'm sorry, yeah, ooh, I'm sorry, yeah, ooh, 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 yeah, I put my hand up, I'm sorry, yeah, I love you, hallelujah, family, we put up, we, people like me, we'd be reminded, so, I was reminded, family, that, and we're gonna get into this, we're gonna get into this uh, sometime this week or next week again, because, I, it's still good to be reminded, family. I was I was in studies and I learned family that God really don't want us complaining like that family. So check this out. This is people family. They be sitting up over there. They be complaining to God about what they want, and that's the last thing that they should do, family. Why is that, Jehoshaphat? Why Why is that? Because first of all, He gets mad at us complaining. Then we complaining about something that we want. Ooh. You done did it. You know what I'm saying? You done did it. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You already complaining. Strike number one. Now you complaining about something you won't. Strike number two and three. Why is that, Jehosa? Because you complaining. That's number one. But you complaining about something that you won't. So he going to do something about it. That's why you got the number three. Strike one, strike two, strike three, family. Ooh, you done did it, family. You done did it. So... <clears throat> so I was reminded that this weekend and I was all like, ooh, 
Ooh, well, you know, y'all, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, I'll be complaining, y'all. <laughs> Y'all forgive me, for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Forgive me, y'all. I understand. You don't want me complaining. And then I'm up over here complaining on things I want. I'm double bad. Please forgive me, y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is how I be with your father. Honest. Honest. What is the word? Humble? No, no. Humility. No. Is it humility? No. No. Honesty. Honest. Honesty, family. Honest with your father, family. Just like that. No, I was wrong. Why you was wrong, Jehosa? Because I know I was up over there complaining already, and he don't want me complaining. I feel bad, family. I found out that God get mad at me from complaining. I feel bad, family. I feel guilty, family. All this week. Put your hands up. We practicing not to be complaining, family, all week long. Hallelujah. In Yeshua HaMashiach, he going to give us the strength, family, because he going to remind us, family. Hallelujah. All you got to do is ask, brother. All you got to do is ask, sister. That's all you got to do. You know he going to help us respect him more than anything else. You know he wants to see us do that first, right? <laughs> you know he wants to see us do that right first, right, family? Okay. Now, so after, after I learned that, family, and I had to sit back. I had to sit back and be like, whoa, you know what? I'm going to stop complaining, family. Not only am I going to stop complaining, but I'm going to stop complaining on, see, your brother Jehoshaphat, yeah, I throw my, my hands in the fire, family, because I want you to be better than me, family. And if I'm messing up over here over here with y'all and I could be greater, I want you to learn from my mistakes like I tell, like I tell all my, my, my younger brothers and my younger sisters out there, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and, and you know what, yo, you know what y'all be telling me? He be telling me that I be too hard on myself, but I tell him that I don't want to be messing up, family. I don't, family. I, I know, family. I know your father, you know what I'm saying? The God of the heavens and the earth. He be telling me, family. He be like, you is too hard on yourself. But I have to I have to be, family, because I don't want to be slipping, family. I don't want to be slipping. So when your brother sit here and tell you I feel guilty for complaining after I heard my father told me I shouldn't be complaining, I feel bad about it, family. Put my hand up. Put my hand up, family. I'm not playing with you, my brothers out there. Are you listening to me, brother? Sister, do you hear me? You know what I'm saying? I put my hands up right now, family. I feel guilty about it, family. I'm going to be all over. I'm not doing that, family. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. For this is not a game, family. Okay, let's get back up into this. Got me all up over here complaining. I'm complaining to my father. He don't want me complaining. Maybe that's why he not listening. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's not because he don't want me complaining. Maybe that's why he not answering. I'm up over here. That's why he probably not even answering the prayer, family. Because I'm sitting up over here complaining about it, family. And, and, and it falls on me, family. Shame on me, family. It's a damn shame, family. It is a damn shame. Why is it a damn shame, family? Because I'm sitting up over here complaining and my father don't want me complaining. Maybe that's why I'm not getting the blessing. Maybe that's why he don't want to hear about it, family. Maybe, and I told you, what he got something for me? He got something for me. What does he have for me, family? He got a little bit of misery for me because I'm doing something that he don't want me to do. So he going to give me something, family. I'm not exempt up over here, family. I'm paying too, family. That's why I'm teaching you about it, family. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What was said, family? He got something for me, family, because I'm sitting up over here complaining, and he don't want me complaining. And, and then I'm going to have the audacity to complain about something that I want, family. Oh, no, family. We're not doing it, family. We're not doing it, family. We ain't doing that no more, family. All my brothers and sisters, do you feel me? Put your hands up. Hallelujah. Do, don't you understand? Okay, let's keep going. Okay, now, Yeshua said that if you don't repent and turn from your sins, that he personally will fight against you while the, with the two-edged sword out of his mouth. Okay, I, okay, did I jump? We was on what y'all said. No, 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 I skipped page. I'm sorry, family. I, I jumped to the back of the page. I'm sorry, family. But we can start. We can just leave it there. We can leave it there. We can we can we can leave it there. Now, now, okay, now look look, look at Yeshua. You see him up over here. He being crucified and everything. Now, okay, you can't see him right now, family. But he still operates upon this earth. And he just made he he just threatened you, family. He he really did. He said, if you don't repent and turn from your sins, that he's gonna personally fight against you. Now 
Those are words directly taking out of what Yahshua said that he will do to anybody. So when people say that, oh, Yahshua is so friendly. Oh, Yahshua is going to forgive me. Oh, oh, I told you, this is not the fake Yahshua. You know what I'm saying? Who is this damn fake Yahshua? Where the hell is he at? You know what I'm saying? Why y'all keep on listening to him? Why do you believe him so damn much? You know what I'm saying? Don't trust the fake Yahshua. You know what I'm saying? The fake. He called himself Jesus Christ. Don't be believing in the fake Jesus Christ. I said it. Look, 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 look. Now, Yahshua said, even, the, okay, uh, he said, if you don't turn and repent from your sins, that he is personally going to fight against you with the two-edged sword that comes out of his mouth. Now, that doesn't seem like he's trying to make peace. That doesn't seem like he's trying to forgive you. That doesn't seem like he want to hold your hand. That doesn't seem like he's trying to walk with you down the park. That doesn't seem like y'all fit to go to the movies and eat popcorn and drink soda. It doesn't sound like that, family. It sounds like he's going to do something to you, family. Now, I told y'all last week that Yahshua, he be doing stuff to people. Now, look, 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 look. I told you about the stuff that he does to people that Yahshua loves. Now, he loves people. That's why he whoops them, family. But these people, he's actually fighting them, family. You didn't think that Yahshua would be a fighter, huh? You didn't, you didn't think that he would be doing things to people and fighting people and doing all of this stuff. But this is a promise that he made, family. Yeshua doesn't have to lift a finger. All he has to say is some words, family. He is the word of God. Don't play with him, family. When Yeshua came to this world, didn't nobody know him even though he made the world. Don't play with Yeshua, family. Don't play with him like that, family. I say it again to you. When Yahshua came to this world, did nobody even know him, even though he made the world? Don't play with him. He ain't even got to lift a finger. All he got to do is start talking and bad stuff will start happening to you, family. Now, now I told you what he does to people he loves. Now, he will he will chasten them. He, lo he, lo he loves them. You wouldn't think that he loves that drug dealer. That gangster. You wouldn't think he loves all them people. He would you wouldn't think that he loves that that bad man. You thought he was so damn horrible. But Yahshua is still chasing that man. I'm not saying that he's gonna chase him forever. But as the moment being, Yahshua really loved that man or that woman. That's why he's whooping them down, family. He's whooping them down, family. You always see that stuff happening to him. But them other people, family, he has promised to be their enemy, and he's fighting them, family. He's doing all kind of stuff to them, family, because they don't want to turn against God. They don't want to turn to Yahshua. They don't want to believe in him, and they still want to do their funky, foul, sin, evil, family. So what is Yahshua doing to them? He's doing stuff to them, family, with his two-edged sword, family. That's a promise from Yahshua. I don't, I don't, I don't understand why people think that he's so friendly. I don't understand this. Like he's just so forgiving and he don't be doing stuff to people, family. Okay, moving that. And that's a promise, family. He's threatening you, family. That's a threat. He's threat. You didn't think Jesus would threaten you, huh? The see the Yahshua, the fake, the fake Jesus, he, the fake Yahshua, he would sit up there and he would never threaten you. He wouldn't. But the real Yahshua, you have to know who the real one is. The real one is threatening. you. He's telling you, you better get your stuff together. The fake Yahshua is sitting up there saying, you do whatever you want to do. This is a Pandora box of some damn, what do them pagans like doing? They love having a filthy uh, orgies. This is a Pandora box of some filthy orgy up over here of all our sin filled evil. And we doing it. He, he would say something like that. He would say, do it all the time. Yahshua don't know nothing like that, family. He, he'll tell you, don't even go around evil people like that. Because he don't know them, family. You know what I'm saying? He'll tell you that, family. You have to know who the real Yahshua is, family, for it is a fake deceiver out there that have so many different people going to hell, family. Listening to them fake people, family, that don't know nothing, family. I'm sorry, family. They don't know nothing, family. They don't even study Yahshua, family. They just believe the stuff. That, uh, family, can I, can I say something from the bottom of my heart, family? I, I don't even I don't even know why. I don't even know why my, my, uh, my other... Of my other brothers and sisters out there in the world, why they why they believe in Christianity? I don't even know why they believe in. And, and then them people, they told you that God hates you and that you curse forever. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even know why they believe in that. You know what I'm saying? They told your people that you curse, you curse even you going to hell even when you die. You know what I'm saying? That's what they basically are saying. You get hell now and you get hell later. You are cursed. You know what I'm saying? That's what they saying to them, and they believe that family, and they still give in to that family. I don't understand that, family. They've been lied to, family. 
they can believe that, but they can't believe the truth. When I come along and tell them that they God's chosen people and yeah, you, you cursed by God, but it's because you don't want to act right. They don't want to believe that though. They want to believe a lie though, family. I don't understand, family. Your brother, I'm not a Christian, family. Sorry. Uh, okay, now, Yeshua said that he wants to give you a new name written on a stone. If you if you endure. Now, family, I'm working real hard for this one, family. I got to work my whole life, family, for this one, family. He want to give me a whole nother name. Now, y'all, I, I got a fly name, family. I really do, family. Some, brother, you brother, take your hat off for me on that one. You know what I'm saying? You know how your brother I put it out the hat on this one. You know what I'm saying? Your brother got a fly name on this. But Yahshua, he got an even better name for me, family. Yahshua got a name for me that he want to write, family. He going to write this name. And then after he write this name, don't nobody even know the name, family. Only me and Yahshua. It's a secret, family. It's a secret between me and Yahshua, family. Hallelujah, family. And he got this for me, family. So... You know your brother Jehoshaphat Israel. I'm up over here working on that family. I want that family. I don't know if you don't want that family, but I want that family. All them promises. It's like so many promises in the next one family that I, I want all that stuff family. I know of all of them family. I'm working doubly hard to get them. And, and this is one of them family. I want that name family. That's why I told you when I get to heaven, you won't even know my name. This is why you won't know my name. You know what I'm saying? Only me and Yahshua know it family. You know what I'm saying? You'll be calling me some old stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, that, that's not even my name family. You can't call me that. Oh, family, I'm going to have to, uh, your brother Jehoshaphat Israel going to have to run up and, yeah, and go and get this. Get my, get my, t now it's not ice cold. It's not, it's not ice cold, but it is something, family, because your brother, I've been going for some time now, and I want to get you a full hour in the sanctuary tonight before, and it's not even for tonight, family. It's for tomorrow night, family. Tonight is, it's Monday it's Monday. It's about probably like 1030, maybe like 1030 at nighttime. But I'm going to go ahead and get out the sanctuary when I finish off. And family, family, you, you know, you know, family, I didn't even get a really chance to get to go over these things tonight. But you know how it is, family. We, we just got so much to go over, family. And you know, your father is good, family, because I'm going to ask him, family. And we're just going to be back tomorrow with some more lessons and some more strength and all of that, family. I'm sorry that I time just ran out like that, family. But you, you, you know, your father, he's he's here, family. Your father, he's here for us. So all we got to do is just trust in him and love in him. Family, that's another thing, family, is just trusting in him, family. It's like, it's like, it's like, okay, now, okay, I'm, I'm going off a topic, and, and we're going to finish, we're going to finish one of them. Okay, what was we at? We was at, Yahshua said that he, he wants to give you a new name written on a stone if you endure to the end. Be faithful unto your death. I'm not saying you have to die for him, but to, to, to walk with him all the days of your life. Now, family, I'm not saying that you got to die for Yahshua, because some people, they'll say that fast enough. They'll be like, you got to die for Yahshua. It's depending on what your job is, brother. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you, maybe, hey, that, maybe that's not your job, family. I'm sorry, family. Do we, do, do all, nah, I'm not even going to say that, family. I'm not even going to say that like that, family. But your job is, your job, family is to be faithful all the way till you die. You cannot drop this flag. You cannot drop this torch. You can't be one of them vacation people. It, it's, it's vacation Christians, family. It is, family. It, it's some vacation uh, Hebrews, family. It's some it's, it's some even vacation uh, Muslims, family. It, they be vacation. What do you mean, Jehovah? They, they they be vacationing, family. They they, they they serve. They work so damn good. It be six months, family. They go on vacation for six months. Then they come back trying to pick up the torch. You not going to be doing that around here, family. He don't want that, family. Ain't no vacationing Christians, Hebrews, or Muslims. You gonna be a Christian twelve months throughout the out the year. You not gonna you okay now God gave you eighty seven years. You gonna be with him eighty seven years, family. You ain't going to be with him 67 and then you be like, well, you know, that that 20 years, I, I just want to do what I want to do, Jehosa. I thought my 20, 20 years, I could. No, no, no. He's not saying. Yahshua is not saying that. Yahshua said that you're going to have to endure all the way to the end, family. 
He said that you're going to have to stay faithful in your walk with God all the way to the end. So you cannot put down this torch. You can't be like one of them vacation. They'd be some vacation Muslims, family. Yeah, I'd be seeing them, family. I'm sorry, family. I can speak on people. It'd be some vacation in Hebrews, family. It is, family. They're not Hebrews all the time, family. It'd be vacation in Christians, family. It'd be vacation in uh, uh, believers of God, family. Followers of Christ in in all the different in religion that'd be like saying that everybody is righteous. You can't say that, family. And they be vacationing up over there. You didn't see your brother, family. Since the be if you go back to my first video at the beginning of this month, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna tell you that you gonna see that God was on my mind all the way to right now, cause he's the most important thing that's on my mind, family. Everything else can come next, family. So you can't be like these vacationing Christians, family. Muslims, Hebrews, Buddhists, Islam, Seven Day Adventists, followers of Christ, believers in Christ, whatever, family, whatever. Whatever kind of believer that you are, family. It's vacationing believers, family. Don't be like them, family. Are you not going to make it into the end, family? You're not. You're not going to make it into the end, family. Okay, I'm not saying... You have to die for him, but to, to walk with him all the day. I have to walk with Yahshua all the days of my life. I, I, if Yahshua, I think it would be a blessing to be able to walk with Yahshua all the days of my life, family. I would not want to be in this life. And and y'all give me, throw me back that 125 years. And I spent them 125 years. And I spent at 75 walking with Yahshua. And I didn't want to do the rest. And then, and then I just want to do my own thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, family. Hold on, hold on. I would consider it to be a blessing. Yah gives me this 125 years, family. And then for me to walk with Yahshua all these years that Yah gives me, that is a blessing, family. That, that, that is worth his weight in gold right there. That is a treasure in itself, family. Just to be able to do that. Family. Hold on, hold on, hold on. God gave me all them years to live. And all that time I was with what Yahshua. Hallelujah, family. Hallelujah, family. That's what I'm talking about, family. Now, that's doing good, family. That's finding some real treasure. That's, that's, that's that lotto money right there, family. That's that, that's that Jesus money, family. That's that real Yahshua paper, family. That's that Yahshua greenbacks, family. Okay, now. Now, what was it? What was it? Now, let's get into the next one, family. And we almost out of here for it tonight. Okay, Yahshua said to hold fast until, until he comes. He will not put no, no other burden on you because you have not known the way of evil or things. Now, look at this, family. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is so damn beautiful, family. It's so damn beautiful, family. Listen, listen, listen to your brother Jehoshaphat, family. Listen to what Yahshua is promising to me, family. Now, if you get your stuff right, brother, and if you one of my brothers and sisters, you got your stuff right, you know what I'm talking about. You're going to get this. But he is promising, family. He ain't going to put no more on me like that. He not. Now, you know, your father, he said he wouldn't put no more on you, too. But, you know, your Yahshua, he just like his father. And you need them extras, family. So, what is the what, what what is this? Yeshua said to hold fast until till he comes. He will not put no other burden on you. So any other thing that could even be put on you, he not gonna do that, family. He ain't gonna put no more burdens on me. Why he ain't gonna put no more burdens on me? Because I'm not trying to do evil. I'm not trying to give in to evil. I'm not trying to appreciate no damn evil. I'm not trying to surround myself with no damn evil. I'm trying to, I'm not trying to congratulate no damn evil. And I'm not trying to be glorified by no damn evil. So the Lord has promised that. He ain't going to put no more burdens on me like that, family. That is a promise from the Lord, family. So I'm going to take that, family, and know that. It's going to be easy selling, family. It's got to be easy selling because he ain't going to put no extra burdens on me, family. How many burdens do I already have, family? Only y'all knows the answer to that. But it has to be it has to be burdens, family. If, if, if Yahshua is sitting up over here and he's saying, well, you know what? I'm not going to put no more on you. Y Yahshua. You know what I'm saying? said, yeah, I'm not going I'm not going to put no more burdens on you like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm probably even going to lighten your load. 
But why is that? Because I'm not I'm not over here doing evil and doing evil things of this world. So let's keep it moving. So if you not being of Yah, what is Yahshua putting on people? The burden of life, and we all know life. Okay, that's what you're getting, family. You yeah, you know what I'm saying? He ain't putting no more burdens on me, but the burden itself is life, family. And you should already know what life will do to you. It will tear you up, family. What do you mean? What do you mean? Do you know what can happen to you in life? Now, you tell me right now, if life can't tear some people up, I'm not talking about choices. I'm not talking about decisions. I'm talking about life, family. Look what life does to people, family. Why do you think those things be happening to them, family? Not everybody is Job, family. Okay, now let's keep it going. Okay, the burden of life, and we all know that life can get real heavy. So life can get real heavy on anybody, family. It can get real thick, family. It can get real hard, real fast, family. But Jesus ain't going to put that on you like that. Okay, now Yeshua said he wants to give you... What is this? The morning star for you, you overcoming to rule... The nations with an iron rod. So Yahshua wants to give you the iron, the the morning star with the rod to 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 what is it to um discipline many nations, family. That can just be people in your life, people. Real talk, family. That could just be people looking okay, out. He gave you that morning star, but with that morning star came with the right the with that with that rod, family. From you not giving in to the evil, family. That's you overcoming all these people, family. Okay, now Yeshua said to strengthen those things that are are made about to die, for he has not found our works perfect. So Yeshua said to strengthen those things that are made are are made about to die, for he has not found our works perfect before. Remember how you received and heard and repented. If you not, he will come on to you for your judgment. So family, look at this family. Now your master, he wants you to have pity. You know what I'm saying? On things that look like they about to die. Family, straight up family. It could be people. It could be places. It could be things. It could be certain circumstances family. But it looks like it's, it's looking bad over there family. He wants you to feel pity on it family. It's easy family. Now, what was the other one that was said? He wants you to strengthen them, family. He wants you to give it life. He wants you... Them things that look like they're about to die, he wants you to strengthen them and give them life, family. It could be people. It could be things. It could be circumstances. It could be places. You know what I'm saying? And you'd be like, what do you mean, Joseph? Just like I said, family. But mainly with people is what you got to worry about. Okay, now, Yeshua said to strengthen those things that are made about to die. For he has not found our works perfect before Yah. Remember how you received and heard and repented. So we, like, when we heard that, we, we stopped sinning and we started repenting. You know what I'm saying? We stopped giving in to that evil. When we heard these things, we said, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. God judgment on me like that? And we start thinking, family. And we started repenting. And we stop turning from the ways. Yeshua said, if you don't have him, you are wretched, poor, blind, miserable, and naked. Now, I, I tell you right off the top that Yeshua, he, 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 he don't want you wretched. He, he wants you in a, in a joyous a spirit and he'll give that to you if you trust in him. If you trust in loving him and loving his father. Now, Yeshua said, there's a lot of people out here that's poor. Now, they can be poor as far as spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Dang sure when it talks about loving God. But God, Yah, Yeshua, he doesn't want you poor in any shape, form, or fashion. He wants you to have things, family. But people don't trust in him. That's why, I'm sorry, it's hard to be blessed, family. They, he said that people are blind, family, if they don't know him, family. The only way you can really truly see in this life, if you have true Yahshua with you, family, he said that they are miserable, family. He's saying, family, without him in anybody's life, they are wretched. They are poor. They are blind. They are miserable. And they are naked, family. 
They are naked. This is how he see people, family, that don't have him, family. They automatically are miserable, family. You want to be around these miserable people? Family, they blind, family. They can never see the truth. You tell them, but they don't hear you, family. They not poor because they don't have nothing. They poor because look at their spirit, family. Look at the wretched things that they be doing, family. Look at the ratchet. He said that they were ratchet, family. So what he said, family, ratchet, naked, blind, miserable, and poor, family, without him, family. So, family, I'm I'm going I'm to trust in my uh, my Yahshua so I don't be a ratchet person. I don't want to be a poor person, family. I'm going to trust in him so I don't be miserable or blind, family. I, your brother Jehoshaphat, Israel, I don't want to be naked, family, so I'm going to trust in Yahshua. And he see these people naked, family. So where are they going, family? Because I'm telling you, clothes burn up in hell, family. Where are they going, family? Family, family, if just if Yahshua see you naked, does that automatically mean you're going to burn in hell? I don't know, family. Where are they going, family? I don't know, family. But this has been your brother, Josh. Yeah, Josh. I'm sorry, family. I got a tongue twister up over here. This has been your brother, Jehoshaphat Israel, in the studio. I thank all my brothers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I regret it because your brother, Fatboy Fish, didn't come out tonight, family, and get to get in the studio for tonight. But... Family, this is your brother Jehoshaphat Israel, and we up in the sanctuary. And I want to give special thought, my special prayers and special thoughts to all my family. I love y'all, family. I thank y'all for coming and tuning in and, and rubbing your spirit, family. Getting this strength, family. Feeding your spirit with some love, family. Instead of all this other stuff that you always hearing that you see up in this world, family, with your other brothers, family. Because I'm telling you, family, they ratchet and they're only thinking about that pocketbook and they own these. So, your brother, I love you and I thank you for coming in the sanctuary and getting some of this power, getting some of this strength and getting a whole lot of butter, wisdom and knowledge, family, put in from you and the revelation that your father pulls forth. I want to give special shouts out to all my brothers and sisters who came out to the 9 o'clock prayer hour. Special shouts to the one who continuously comes to the 9 o'clock prayer hour. My faithful brothers and sisters out there, I bless you in Yeshua Hamashiach's name. And your husbands, your wives, your sons, your daughters, your homes, and Yah's greatness that he has put in you for our Father. He is worthy. Now, your brother, I'm going to go ahead and get, because I'm getting tired, family. I had a long day, family. But like your brother said, your father is great, so you great. Your father is holy, so I suggest you be holy. Your father, he loves righteousness, so I suggest that you walk upright. Your father wants you to be a holy man and a holy woman of his, of his, of his throne, family, of what he does. In the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, God bless you all. Peace and blessings be upon you all in Yahshua and Yahshua HaMashiach's name. This has been your brother Jehoshaphat Israel. Peace and blessings be to you all in Yahshua's precious name.